Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It is the morning of day 49. I got everything put away last night. I didn't do much. Uh, except for kill a few zombies that have been teeing me off out here. Uh, we got a bag I gotta pick up too. Yeah, alright. It's any better than ours. No, it's not. Alright, so I did a little bit of damage to the base on my own. Because that's how I roll. Oh, uh, not you. You. You look similar, but you're not. I did that myself. Those are from zombies. I think that's it. All right. Uh, now I think we're good to go here. I think I wanna, I've got a little bit of steel on me, not much. I got some more smelting out. I wanna go and do the, I don't have enough steel? Oh, because I, yeah, I repaired stuff. Now we've got another block here, it's not drying too. It's kind of annoying. I don't know why they're doing that, but whatever. So we're going to work on painting the base a bit today, I think. Uh, now we need to upgrade, like, all this stuff. Oh, looks like we got a bunch of guys coming in. What's up? You guys want to help me get a level today? Teamwork. Should be able to get behind there. Yep. Let's get this part done. I gotta knock these out. Let's just do this today. Let's get these out of here. Now I don't have I don't have any rebar on me. Concrete's on the make upstairs. So let's go pick up some stuff. So actually, you know what? Since we're out here. Gotta figure out how I want to paint these guys. I think that can remain steel for now. But these guys, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to upgrade these past. Well, I, I probably should. I don't like painting stuff and then having to repaint it. So, let's just... W oh, where are you? One shot, one kill. Uh, we gotta go... Let's get the cream. So that... You know what? Let's not work on that upper part. Cause I gotta. Yeah, I gotta do all the uh, upgrading still, and that wall may come out. So let's just get this lower part down here. So concrete. We'll go to there. And along the sides too, cause I don't think I'll ever upgrade the sides to steel. The zombies are pathing exactly how I want them to path. Right, they're coming from the back, going to the front. That's all I care about. Um, are you guys not upgraded down here? You're not. Okay. Well, you are now. All right, we need to do you along the bottom. Yeah, it's a start. I mean... I, I want to get some windows in here at some point, but right not right now. And for now, I think what we'll do is we'll just take that texture and we'll continue it down as this is the fireplace. Okay. It's not really the best, but for now it'll have to do. Okay, we're not going to worry about the upper level, so let's go around this side now. I think I want to take these out. Okay, let's go ahead and do the top and the bottom with uh, you. Okay, now we just have to grab the texture from here. Uh, you. For that. And you for there. Come on. There. And there. Grab this texture. For here. Now, did we do... Yeah, I didn't do those bases, but that's fine. We'll do those later. So I got a feeling we're going to be knocking these windows out anyway. I just want them to be semi-aesthetically pleasing. For now. Alright, you. And you. And then let's upgrade... What the? Oh! There's... Oh, God. I... 
left clicking instead of right clicking I'm shooting nails <laughs> okay all right we want to get some rebar frames and knock these out now keeping that forged steel flowing keep the concrete flowing or cement that is nice okay so we're gonna replace these guys now where is the uh, rebar That should easily dry before tonight. Now we got a bit more steel on us again, so we're going to upgrade these guys. I mean, it's not necessary, but it's nice to have the corners as strong as you can get them. Because the thing is, is like if they knock these corners out, this doesn't fall because this is attached to this, even though there's a gap there. Like it could be a gap all the way around if you wanted it to be, which I find very strange, but. It's very Minecrafty. Okay, that's not filled in. I'm gonna knock these guys out now too, because I don't like the way they look. Yeah, this level six uh, steel pickaxe is so much better. I'm actually shocked that a lot of our fence still exists here too. I think I can actually make fence. I'm not 100% sure, but I think I can make it with the uh, mods that I've installed. I should double check that. I know I got a whole bunch of lighting that I can do, some trim, all that kind of stuff, so maybe we just put trim around the edge here. What I wanted to do is ha have it kind of angle down and then put like, you know, uh, one of these guys kind of turn sideways to make it look like eaves troughing. But I don't know. Should probably knock this out too. And then we can put these guys in. That'll help that a bit. Now, I mean, they're not going to get up there. They're like they all would. They just come here because there's an opening. They just they just decide to come here every single time. So I've yet to have them uh, go anywhere but here. Now, how much do I have to make cobblestone here? Oh, plenty. Uh, make 42. We can get that filled in. All right. What else do we have to do? That has to go up. All right. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else. I mean, other than waiting for this piece here to dry and making it steel. Although, I think we should probably make this plate over here steel. Like, demos are coming right after this, so we're going to have to ramp up our iron production. Like, I, I, I'm... I'm almost 100% certain that the uh, demo zombies are going to show up uh, next horde night. So that'll be day 56. So I don't know. We're going to need AP ammo for sure. And I don't think pipe bombs are going to cut it. Uh, so we may have to start tossing a couple at a time. Like, like, if we get the M60, fill it with AP ammo, you know, I think that's probably what we want to do. Let's get that reinforced, too. Just for collateral damage, if stuff explodes, I don't want stuff blowing off my house. Dumpster, ah, I like the dumpster. Going to keep it there for now. Now, I want to fill in all this with dirt. We're going to put a driveway in here. So during the week, when we're not fighting the horde, we can just drop in, um, like our vehicles can just park right here. Then we can kind of go up here, be a bit of a platform, drawbridge. I still haven't decided whether I want it to come out from there to there, or have it drop from there to here. It should probably go from there to here, which means I need, an, I need to put another pillar in down there. Actually, let's go, um, what does it take to make a drawbridge? There's our boxes for downstairs. Reinforced drawbridge, hunter forged iron, wood no problem, springs and mechanical parts no problems. Just we're, low, we're kind of low on forged iron right now, so I'm not going to make it just yet. I have to go on a mining, like super mining. Maybe we take the auger down. Ah, oh. 
That's just 4,000 gas, like 4,500 gas right here. I mean, I guess we could take the auger down and do it, but I'm, I'm really, really worried about gas moving forward. I don't know how it's going to uh, how it's going to affect us. So we got uh, a bunch more steel coming out of there. Keep the cement moving. Doing okay for concrete. Not worried about that. And then let's make the rest of this sand. Okay, now, uh, what do we got here? 130. Did we, we got a level, didn't we? Or did, No, I don't think we did. No, because we got a long way to go before. Yeah, we're at that point where we need to... Uh, let's grab you. Uh, where we need to... Um, I can need a lot of experience to get a level. So let's go ahead and make some more pipe bombs here. Just so we have them. I don't know how many we're going to need, but let's get 40 on the go while we've got the gunpowder. Uh, we can put these guys away. All right, let's go down here. I'm so glad that dried. Get some of this put in. Okay. Right? Looking good. Feeling good. All right, let's knock this in now. I checked the SMG turret up above. We're at full ammo, so that's good. It's got 900 rounds in it. We shouldn't need that many, but... If we were playing on larger hordes, we'd probably want two turrets up there, but... The 16 with a 16 zombie horde it's uh pretty easy I just upgraded that to steel and I didn't want to ah well all right so we want to do this one this guy is not dried yet okay so yeah right I hit you didn't I what do we got left here 62 So anything I, we absolutely need to have upgraded? I don't think so. We got the corner blocks. That's done. That's done. That's all done. No, I think we're good. I think we'll hold off. We'll use the steel as um, repair materials for tonight. I want to get all this, like all of this, upgraded to concrete. All this stuff. Okay, let's work on this a bit here. We got some time before a horde. Let's go ahead and knock some of this stuff out. You know, now that I think about it, I should probably wait till after a horde to knock this out. Now nah, the vultures won't fly in here, will they? We'll leave it as a surprise. See if they do. I'd be very shocked if they actually flew in here. God, this axe uses a lot of stamina, though. It's great for destroying stuff, but it uses a lot of stamina. Now, I think we need to take this piece out. Yeah, I got my wood fencing on the inside. So these guys need to come out. Yeah, I think if we put the drawbridge this way, we're not going to have enough space to do that properly. Because I think it's like, it's six wide. And we've got four here. Five if we take this out. And then we have to take this wall out and that would be six. To drop it this way. And I think it's going to extend a little too far. So it'll have to come from this side over. Which means we need to put a walkway out here. Yeah. We're going to have to put a walkway out here. So let's go... Uh, wait a minute. How many do we have here? I think that's six high. So we need six times four, 24. Whoa! Texture loss! So let's do 36. Okay. 
get those going again. Okay. Uh, while we're waiting for those, let's go downstairs. Now we got some stuff here for the kitchen. So All right, we need a stove. Refrigerator we've, we've left here. I can't remember if I can make a refrigerator or not. I don't think, wow, well, let's go check the workbench. I should really make a workbench for down here too. But once again, iron is the bottleneck. We need forged iron and everything. Pipe bombs are coming along. So we've got the ability to make a few things here. Uh, we're gonna want to put a we're gonna put a TV room in there, a nice couch. Yeah, I can't see. There's like a storage that gives you all kinds of different shapes for storage. Metal furniture. I don't think that was it. Uh. So here's the commercial doors. We're going to be using those for inside the house. Uh, where is it? Sinks and toilets? No. All different kinds of... So we got a working wall oven. I thought there was a refrigerator, but I guess there isn't. Working lamps and lights. I know these guys give us some pretty cool uh, fixtures. They got a whole tons of different tons of different lights we can use. I gotta get the working stove for sure for downstairs. Fuse blocks. Fuse block and fuse box. So when you're wiring up your house, if you wire your power to the fuse box, and then run your power from the fuse box to your lights, you don't see any wiring, which is really cool. So we can do that. Arched windows. I want to put a big, like a nice big arch, because we've got these blocks, I don't want to not use them. So I want to put a big, like a nice big arched kind of window upstairs. Maybe one on either side. Maybe it's like heading out towards where the, um, yeah, maybe it's heading out towards where the, uh, um, the, uh, God, my brain's not working today. Ah, the greenhouse. My God, I couldn't think of the word greenhouse. All right, I don't see here what I'm looking for. So maybe it is in these blocks here. Expanded storage. If we go shape. Oh, yeah, it is in these blocks. That's right. So as you can see here, we can make all different kinds of things. Plastic barrels to store fuel in. Cement pallets and uh, covered pallets. I like... Like, people use the storage boxes and put names on them for what's in them. But I like having it kind of realistic looking. You know, so we can put all our stone in a pallet of bricks, put all our cement in here. You know, any wood that we have can go in a stack of wood. Right? Small storage box. That's cool. It's like half size. So there's all different kinds of storage here. Luggage. You know, we can put clothing in there if we want to. Laundry basket. Uh... There was a few others here that I kind of liked. It's a clothing shelf. Yeah, like, so small weapons bag. You know, large weapons bag. Ammunition pile, ammunition pile. Food pile. So we can put, like, you know, food, canned food sitting on the counter. You know, medical supplies sitting on the counter. Don't necessarily put anything in them, but it'll look cool. You know what I mean? And if we do put stuff in it, we'll, we'll know what it is, right? Right away. So, we'll, you know, I generally don't use the pill case. Because with the pill case, what happens is it's, you've got limited amount of storage. So I just generally use a storage box and paint one of the faces like a pill, pill case and use that. Uh, but we got like, you know, benches and things like that we can put down too. So I want to do some of this to the place, but not just yet. So let's just stick with this for the shell, for the uh, cupboards. I could use these guys, but we're going to paint it to look like this anyway. And this gives us more space. So we're going to use this for the cupboards. So we just got to figure out where... 
So that's going to be the sink. We're going to have a real sink. And then probably a space. And that would be the, we want the stove there or over here? That's a sink. Or we could put the stove there. We could put two sinks here. That would go there. That would go there. That would go there. And then we just take you, fill this in. And then at the top, we can just put shelves. I think that's what we do. I think that's how it's going to work. Now, did I... I think I bought some sinks, didn't I? I think I have some sinks here that we could uh, throw down there. Did I or did I not? Doesn't look like I did. we got two AC units. we got bar stools we're going to be throwing in downstairs. Uh, I have not bought any sinks yet. Well, we'll have to buy some sinks next time we're at the trader. Filing cabinet. Alright, let's just see what the stove... I know it's going to use forged iron, but... Working wall oven was what? Forged iron, two pipes, and mechanical parts. That's it, right? Yep, let's get that going. So now we don't have a, a campfire. Usually, like, I throw my campfire on top of a stove, or a, a block that looks like a stove, but now we'll actually have a stove, so... Gotta shovel those mushrooms off of there. Put them in here. Okay, you can go in there. Yeah, I, I don't think... Like, I don't think we need to, um... upgrade these walls any more than reinforced concrete. I thought I was going to have to put an extra plate and everything on them, but I don't think we're going to need to. I just don't think it's... I, don't, I can't see any need for it. So let's go ahead and grab... Actually, we don't want to grab you. We want to do... Uh, I think Adobe White. Is that what it is? Yeah, probably. And then this would be... Where are those windows? Uh... Yeah, see, we can paint the pill case using this thing here. Okay. Not the best looking windows in the world, but they got reflection and stuff on it too, which is really cool. So at least it looks like glass, you know? And then at some point, we'll just break these out and replace them with uh, with um, our, uh, our glass. Because then we, got, we can put shutters over them. Like, do we have... Did I... I did I made any yet, have I? Did I start to make some? I did not. I was just getting stuff in for it, though. That's what I was doing. We just couldn't waste the iron. Right. Alright, two more. Get that out. So we'll have some steel for tonight. We're gonna have pipe bombs. Alright, let's start getting ready for the horde. Drop off the stuff we don't need. All right, well, I think we're ready for a horde. Got my learning elixirs this time down in the bar down, <laughs> down here. I'm going to have to... Uh, I've been negligent on cooking food and stuff, so I'm going to have to start doing that a little bit more diligently, I think. Uh, how many... Um, how much meat do I have? 104. We're going to have to go hunting, I guess, again. Uh, meat stew. How much can I make here? Oh, it's not bad. 15, so 13 minutes. 1308. Ah, perfect. Cook 15 meat stews. Get those guys in there. 29 meat left. So we're going to have to go hunting, I guess. I haven't been worrying about it that much, but I think I'm going to have to start worrying about it. I mean, 15 meat stews are going to last us a long time. Plus, we got a crap ton of canned food and everything, so we're kind of okay. Uh, let's grab another one of these before we go. And let's grab, uh, let's grab some salmon. Top ourselves off here. Alright, I think we're ready to do this. 
I got everything pretty much put away. Got all the material that I need on me. I'm sure I'm forgetting something. We're loaded up here. Loaded. Yeah, I mean, we got all our pipe bombs. We've got 103. All our first aid, repair supplies, which I don't know if we'll need. Probably not, but uh, what else do we have on us? Got some drinks, some extra food just in case. And I think we're ready to go. So I put my um, glasses and eye candy in here so we can just quickly go ahead and drop down after the horde and grab some shiz. So I think we'll be good. I'm really hoping this turns out well tonight. I, I, I don't foresee us running into any problems tonight at all. Uh, let's make sure this is turned on, though. I kind of need that to be turned on. And I'm pretty sure I repaired everything the last time. Ooh, I did not. I thought I had. I thought I repaired everything. That's fine. That's fine. You're good, you're good. I think I repaired these guys. I just forgot to repair the corner pieces. Oh. And you guys. Okay. Well. Good thing we double checked. And this thing hasn't dried yet either. <sighs> eh. I'll run out of breath before that dries. Alright. Uh, okay. We're ready for this horde, I guess. Uh, fingers crossed. What's going on with this pipe bomb glitch again? For some reason I get this weird ass pipe bomb glitch. Okay, it goes I guess if I go slowly, I'm cycling it through with my scroll wheel, my weapons. That's probably what it's doing. It's getting caught up. Alright. Make sure we drink these this time. This gives us how much? 20% or 10? 20% 20 XP gain for eight minutes we'll get it for. Horde's gonna be longer than that, I think. Sip of my pop, and we're ready to go, I think. Wonder if they're going to come from the back of the house again. It'll, it'll be interesting to see what happens when um, we put that drawbridge in. Welcome to the fight, Mr. White. Yeah, here comes all the radiates. Oh, you died. You died. Got birds coming too. First pipe bomb of the evening. Enjoy, boys. Now, I didn't bring my item junkies down here. I'm saving those for, for demos later on. Once we get past 150 game stage, we're definitely going to want them. So I've been saving them up. we got 11 of them. It's not very many, but... I'm going to hold off using them until we get a wave of uh, demos. Because they should come in waves, right? Like these whites are coming in a wave right now. Ah! guys are spreading out on me and not liking that. Come on, get group up. Can you guys hold out for me. Thank you. I think we're going to have to start spending more points in the penetrator. Which defeats their armor. You guys hold that. Interested to see how well it works against those guys. You're down. Yeah, we need two against these guys, I think. If we pop their heads early, like Zitz, then we don't have to worry about them so much.
I don't feel like I'm on my A game here today. Run shot. All right, pipe bomb time. Did he go right through the fence? Looked like he did. They should make some of these zombies immune to electricity. I'm wondering if that turret upstairs is uh, seeing these guys. It's firing way too much. The friggin' shooting gallery here. of these is down. Which one is it? Not those two. There we go. I'm going to have to go collecting electrical parts too. But we've got, there's a couple of, um, of those electrical shops around. So we could raid those guys. They should have a lot of parts. Feeling like wave one is almost over here. Yeah, that turret's seeing the guys down here. It's hitting the walls. I think it's seeing them approaching. Wow, well, you got through, eh? That's the first time that a non non crawling zombie has glitched through that wall. Okay, looks like wave two is starting on this side. I don't mind that. I like it when they uh, split up the walls. So they start on one wall and then move to a new one. Now keep in mind this Horde Knight too is going to be uh, a couple of hours longer than it normally should be because I got the way I got the day time set. So rather than a six hour night, we've got an eight hour night. Ah, damn. Off my walls. Man, my hands, I'm telling you. So you guys hold that. I want to go ahead and repair this. So my only real worry with this base is when the demos come, if they go off out here, we got to make sure that these uh, um, electric fences are protected because if the fences go down, we're in big trouble. 
We're not going to be using the shotgun at that point. We're just going to be using M60 the you know, entire night. Hold that, will you? I haven't been looking at my XP tally. I guess I should be. I should be. Well, learning elixir is gone anyway, but. I don't even know if we've got a level yet. Maybe I'm not killing fast enough. That was a twofer. Stop hitting my base. But by next horde, I want to have, uh, we, we really got to ramp up our steel production. Because we're definitely going to be at 150 game stage, which means we're getting into demos for the next horde. So, I got to ramp up my steel production, which means I'm going to have to spend like a day mining. I think I got lots of rock busters. I'll just rock buster it and copy it and just grind it out and get it done. And then I'll probably run more than one forge just cranking out steel. All right, one more of these. Ooh, nut shot. That can't be it. Half the night's only gone. Can't be it. Don't waste time. Yeah, there's more coming. Okay, get those going. We got the guys coming this side now. They're all nice and tight in the corner here. Which makes it great for pipe bombs, but it also makes it bad for damage. Because it's all it's gonna be one part of the building taking damage the whole time, which is not what I want. I mean, we don't have whites anymore, so... Oops, shot the wrong guy. I'm interested, though. Whoops. He's gonna take... That's gotta hurt. So many spider zombies. Yeah, I don't know. What's going on with this graphic? I got one attached to my sleeve. Like, he almost got through. At least it looked like he almost got through. Here. Hold that, will ya? Ooh, both legs went. Gonna have a hard time keeping taking care of your kids tomorrow. Get off my walls.
Hold that. We'll reload. Well, I missed you three, four times. Yeah, I really wish this shotgun had two more rounds in it. At some point, we'll find a half-decent auto shotgun. And things will change. Gonna have to re-aim that turret, I think. I know it's shooting birds this time. But, uh... Definitely at the beginning there, it was uh, trying to shoot these guys. We can't have that. Okay, we got two levels. So there's our next level of SMG. Because I'll probably take that as a, as a wander around weapon. Because we're not using that much 9 mil right now. And I got a feeling we're going to need a 762 moving forward for Horde Knights. I've yet to hear a block break. Which is a good thing. I thought that was a crawler there for a second. I was like, oh crap, if I can't see that crawler, I'm in trouble. I'm taking for granted that it's just this corner that they're coming from. So I guess I should be keeping my eyes open just in case. Alright, 326. We should get more. Look at all the birds up here dead. That turret, man. That can't be it. That can't be it. Don't waste time. Those two are fine. I think that might be it. Those are fine. How do we do here? 15, 1400 damage, 1000. Yeah, if a demo goes off out here. Like, I mean, we've got these to protect us too, right? And they, these will be steel. This will all be steel. So if they do break one of these blocks, I'm going to I'm gonna be keeping the um, rebar frames on me in the future with concrete. So I could just quickly drop it another block in here and just upgrade it. But I think we're going to be just fine. Plus we can repair too. I'll have to remember in the future that we're going to have to repair. I think that's it. I think we're done with tonight. Let's just go around and repair these bits. Oh, that took a bunch of damage. And I think that was from the, the whites. I'm interested to see how much the demos do if they get to the wall. For that matter, I wonder if it might be better if we do, uh, like we might be able to do a double layer of um, wire, because I got enough for two more posts in here, right? One there and one on that on that corner, like there and there, and then we could run a second set of wire. Like I could drop it down one, or maybe have them come out here and here across the ground, and that way those Arlenes that have been running through will get. Um, will get nicked as well. That's a possibility. I think that's probably a good possibility too. I think we'll I think we'll probably end up doing that. Alright, I'm gonna hold on to my AK.
Ah, uh, we better... Uh, we got lots of medic medical stuff on us, so we're good. Okay, I think that's good. Let's go ahead and... Where are you? We still gotta find better loot goggles. And use this. Alright, let's check our loot out. I didn't turn the wire off again, so I gotta be careful. I don't know whether that's a good, good or a bad thing. Like, at least if I leave it on, I might be able to decoy them into, into the wire if I got attacked out here. Is that a book we didn't read yet? Oh, we read that one. Alright, a lot of food. A little bit of ammo back. We've been finding a fair bit of ammo uh, out and about, so, uh... Our steel club. Not that worried about it. Yeah. So far, a lot of garbage. Steel leggings. Ooh, blade trap schematic. We might employ that too in the future. Like we could put them out here. Well, I'll have to figure out that in the future. Let's get inside here real quick. So we really need to push towards this next uh, Horde Knight. What's our game stage at here? 129. So we went up 5. Not that bad. But one horrible death. 3,700 kills. So I don't know how much we got that night. I guess I can go back and look and see, but not so bad. So we've got Blade Trap Schematic. Let's just get this out of our inventory. A little bit of food. We can scrap that. Well, how many parts do we have? We got tons. We don't have to worry about that. We can just sell it. Uh, just get this out of our inventory. Helmet light mod, schematic, let's just use it and get it out of our inventory. So we got 10 steel, some steel armor. I mean, the other thing too is we can start wearing steel armor on Horde Knight. Wow, look at that steel sludge boy. Steel sludgy boy. Gonna end up selling it though, but. Oh, level 5 junk turret. What, do we have a junk turret? We do, it's level 1. Let's keep the level 5. Go ahead and scrap this guy. Uh, but yeah, I mean... Garbage. Nothing we can really use. Alright guys, I'm going to end this episode here. I'm going to get everything cleaned up. Uh, do the crops. And then tomorrow, figure out what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to have to spend a time, like a bunch of time mining. Maybe if I hit it up every day, I don't know. I'll probably go down to the mine for the rest of tonight. Grab as much iron as I can. Hopefully find some nitrate down there. And then we'll, tomorrow we'll go to the trader, uh, turn this quest in, sell a whole bunch of stuff, see if he's got anything good. I don't think he restocks. Yeah, he does. Day 50 he restocks, I think. So we'll check out both traders and see what they have, and then we'll go from there, all right? So I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If it did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.